This video will discuss portions of page 13 of the Earth's reference table, the weather station model. Now the weather station model gives us basic weather information. Such information are temperature, visibility, dew point, the wind speed, the wind direction, the amount of cloud cover, barometric pressure or air pressure, the barometric trend or the change in pressure over the past three hours, and the amount of precipitation. It also gives you the type of weather that's occurring. So this is universal. If you see or if you can recognize a weather station model and understand where the variables are placed, then you can read the weather from any part of the world. All right, so I color coded this portion or this version of the weather station model. Now, again, the key thing here is understanding where the w weather variables are placed. For example, temperature, coded in red, is placed in the upper left-hand corner. Right underneath that, you have the visibility, which is coded in blue. In the lower left-hand corner, you have the dew point temperature, which is coded in yellow. Coded in green is the present weather. And we can see that we have different symbols for the present weather below. On the upper right-hand corner, we have the barometric pressure or air pressure. That's in purple. Right underneath that in orange is the barometric trend. Underneath that, in the lower right-hand corner, we have the precipitation within the past six hours. That's coded in pink. And circled in gray is the wind direction. All right, so it tells you where the, the direction of the wind, where it's coming from. So in this direction, in this example, the winds are coming from the southwest. It's important to understand where to place the weather variables and to understand or to be able to read the weather variables. Now, in terms of the pressure, normally we measure air pressure in terms of inches or millibars. Now, for the weather station model, we use millibars. But if you notice, if you go back to the previous example, you notice that it's written in three digits, 196. But the barometric pressure is 1,019.6 millibars. So basically, you're using the last three digits of the millibar values, right? There's no decimal. You use the last three digits of the millibar values. But however, you may be asked to convert from the abbreviated abbreviated code to the pressure in millibars. So as it reads here, on a station model, the pressure is abbreviated by a three-digit code. Now, this next part, it requires some memorization, right? a little bit of effort and memorization to this rule. To get the full numeric value, any number 500 and above, so that's the three digit number, 500 and above, you add a nine in front and a decimal between the last two numbers. So any number 500 and above, you add a nine in front and a decimal between the last two numbers. Now any number below 500, add a 10 in front, and add a decimal between the last two numbers. So any three-digit code that's below 500, add a 10 in front, and add a decimal between the last two numbers. So let's look at a couple examples here. Here we have 0, 1, 1. So according to our rule, is below or less than 500. So according to the rule, we add a 10 in front, and then the rest of the, the code, 0, 1, 1, and a decimal 
in between the last two numbers. So we have 1,001.1 millibars. Here's our second example, 202 is below 500 or less than 500. Again, we add a 10 in front, 202. The decimal between the last two numbers and then millibars. So we have 1020.2 millibars. Now here we have 599. So that's above 500. So in this case, according to the rule, we add a 9 in front, then 599, the decimal in between. Okay, so we have 559.9 millibars. And lastly, for this example, 640, again, is greater than 500. So we add a 9 in front. 640, the decimal in between. So we have 964 millibars. Two says convert the following millibar values into the three digit code format. And you may be asked to do this on the regions. So simply stated, you just take the last three numbers from the millibar value. So for 976 millibars, the last three numbers is 760. For 1,012 millibars is 120. Oh, essentially, you're doing the reverse from the reverse of the previous exercise. 1,000, well, it's just 000. zero, zero. 1,032 millibars. Again, the last three digits, three, two, zero. Okay, so now let's look at an example from May 21st at around 4.51 p.m. So we have the weather data here that's given to us. Okay, so it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit, 29 degrees Celsius. The wind speed is coming from the south at 15 miles per hour. The barometer reads 29.84 inches, but we're looking for the millibar. So we're looking at uh, 1,010.4 millibars. The dew point is 65 degrees Fahrenheit. The visibility is 10 miles. All right, so this is the information we're going to use, and we have a few clouds. So in terms of the temperature, the temperature is placed here, 84 degrees. The visibility is 10 miles. The dew point temperature is 65 degrees. Now, the upper right hand corner, the barometric pressure, again, we have 1,010.4 millibars. We take the last three digits. So in this case, it will be 104. Okay? The winds are coming from the south at 15 miles per hour. So here the winds are, is coming from the south, the southerly position, and it's 15 miles per hour. So in terms of the wind speed, is based on the feather. One whole feather, or the longer feather, is worth 10. One half feather is worth 5. So when you add them together, you have 15 miles per hour. Now, we don't have the present weather because there wasn't any precipitation. However, we have a few clouds. So, let's just say that we shade in a quarter. Okay, one quarter. Okay, so the inside refers to cloud cover. Okay, the inside of the circle refers to cloud cover. Now, if it was mostly cloudy or completely cloudy day, or if we had precipitation, you would shade the whole inner inner circle in. If it's a pure clear day, then you wouldn't shade the inner circle at all. So this is our typical weather station model. So seeing this, you should be able to understand that it was 84 degrees with the dew point temperature of 65 degrees. 
visibility was 10 miles. The wind's coming from the south at 15 miles per hour. And the barometric pressure was 1,010.4 millibars. I hope this was helpful to you. And again, to master this, practice, practice, practice.